Hello friends, good morning. I'm happy to have woken up feeling great today and I'm happy to have you guys join me in my everyday living lifestyle. So my name is Sharon if you don't know and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel and welcome you today to spend a day with me. If you're interested in knowing how a regular Kenyan village not village girl lives you're welcome to join this channel so that you can get to know how a regular Kenyan girl lives. Where I live is a place called Moranga in Kenya. It's not a city, neither is it a, an interior village. Most people would have this place to be their native homes, but I live in the town center part of it. So I'm not in the village like showing you a village village lifestyle neither am i in a city that i'm going to show you a city girl's lifestyle i'm just in a small town that would would not be very hard to live a city life neither will it be very hard to say you're living a village life so somewhere in between you you're welcome to join my life and my adventure so guys after making my bed space ready I'm going to try and clean up my living area just to make it presentable.
so after sh after washing my face <coughs> i'm going to use this aramis petroleum jelly to apply it on my face uh, to keep my face moisturized and then i'm going to use sunscreen i have this lady diana sunscreen it says it has uv 60 I don't know how true that is but this is what I use because this is what I can get for now so I'm going to use it because I'm also planning to go out to look for waffles I like that it doesn't smell bad it smells nice it also has a good feeling on my skin only that it has a lot of white casts so that's my skincare guys like if I'm going to bed, I do the same thing. I also use this aloe vera sunscreen. Sun cream. So I'll put this on top of that other sunscreen. I don't know if they're doing the same thing. I want to protect myself from the sun as much as possible. So it's usually very hard to get waffles. That's what I'm planning to cook today as the meal for the day. It's usually hard to get them. So you have to go there among the first people and among the first people. So I want to get dressed so fast, go see whether I can get waffles. I want to cook those with matoke to see whether I can make katongo. Let's hope we'll be able to get one. Because this morale, eh? in this morale, to get waffles, you have to be there by 11. I don't know how I'm going to get it. I'm just hurry. So that I can prepare that for lunch. If I won't get it, then I'll buy it early for lunch. Oh, I'm, I'm getting lunch stroke breakfast at the same time because, because I've woken up late. I've woken up at 11. So, I don't see any need, need of, any need of cooking, of cooking breakfast and then cook lunch later on. So, I'm going to combine them. Yeah. I'm going to look for a top. I found... I found the pants that I'm going to wear. This is the pants that I'm wearing. I'm going to look for a top and then show you the outfit of the day. So this is the outfit I've come up with. It's looking nice. However, this top is so tiny, like it's not fitting me well. It's actually so tight on my arms and it's a crop top. So the bad thing about this outfit is that where I live, girls are not used to showing like showing skin that much. So I'm afraid that this top might make me attract a lot of attention because of the space here and the space here. I've even raised my pant higher to see if this will be able to cover the, the space in between my top and my pant but I see it's not covering it that much so I've decided I'll go like that but I will also carry I'll carry a scarf just in case I'll carry this scarf and use it to cover my myself so that I don't get too much attention yeah see ya I've also decided to put on a cape because, yeah, why not? I opened my door. <laughs> I decided to keep, to put on my cape because it's very sunny outside and I like protecting myself against the sun. I've also changed my mind concerning the food I'm going to get because I thought I'd get waffles and make matoke katogo. But... I don't have money. I've just realized I don't have enough money for that. So I'll go and get Gideri and have that for lunch stroke breakfast. 
Yeah. <laughs> to get what I wanted. I know I told you guys I didn't have money but apparently in Kenya there is a way you can overdraft your Mpesa account which is like mobile um, mobile payment you can overdraft your account. So I've done that and I've been able to buy avocado, my tokens, tomatoes, tomatoes and the the winner of the day is drum rolls drum rolls my tumbo <laughs> i'm so happy guys i managed to get my tumbo getting my tumbo in moranga is so hard so these are waffles so interesting to show you waffles i don't know if you guys know what waffles are but the intestines of the animal this is the intestine of a cow so I'm going to start to prep the matumbo. It's usually very hard to get this done. Because this one looks like it has a lot of work to be done. So I'm going to prep this and start cooking immediately. Yeah. So to prep matumba, I'm told you're supposed to remove the membrane on top of it, which is this skin. So I've already removed that. Thank God this was easy to remove. But I also need all the cooking oil that it has with it. So I'm going to remove this other part and, re and remain with the cooking, with the fat, the animal fat that is in it, because I'll need that to cook. It will make my stew at least not dry yeah so i've removed the membrane and thank god this was so fast it really comes off so so easily like that so let me start cutting it and then i'll put it in a sphere So I don't have a, I don't have a chopping board, but I have a very sharp knife here. So let me see how that will go. Yeah, thank God that's easy. So I have washed the waffles and i have cut some onions inside i want to boil them you know waffles are usually very tough very chewy so to soften it you have to boil it for so long so i'm going to add in some salt straight away because i want as as the as the waffles cook they also get the taste of the salt inside them so i'm going to add in some salt after salt, I'll, I'll add in a cube because that's what I have. And I add in a seasoning. 
Rico seasoning. What else can I add inside? The pili. I'm going to add all of them inside. So I've added in the pili. As you can see, I've chopped in some pepper. And now I'm going in with the Rico seasoning. I'm just going to pour it inside like that. Then light on my fire, put on the fire, and then put it on fire as I cut the bananas. If you are surviving Kenyan like me, you definitely know this brand of a cooking Jiko. <laughs> so, this is the one I'm using cocoa. I'm going to boil these waffles, so I'm going to leave them on fire for like, for like 40 to one hour, 40 minutes to one hour for them to just cook. Meanwhile, let me just be preparing my other, my, my matoke. So guys, it's almost one hour later and I have boiled my waffles like that. You can see they're ready. I have already peeled my bananas. I'm about to cut my onions and, and nanas and tomatoes. But meanwhile, I have to pour all this soup. That is on the offals on in somewhere different so that I can be able to to fry them. I can see they're ready. Let's let's just have a test to confirm that it is ready. I've drained all the soup that was here. I have put it here. We will use it. Um, somebody told me to say broth. So I'll use the broth to cook the matoke. But meanwhile, let's just fry our... Oh, sorry. So I've drained all the, all the broth that was with the opal. Trying to shallow fry the the matumbo now. I have eaten all these pieces, guy. I think I'll finish it on fire. It's just a one minute meal. So this oil I had cooked it yesterday. I had used it to cook to fry eggs. And use the oil. guys see the stew is ready <coughs> so guys the food is ready i cooked some rice and the stew is now ready i'm sorry i haven't been able to record the cooking procedure with you but i i i was running out of time and out of space so i decided